when I look at George Floyd, I look at I look at my dad, I look at my brothers, I look at my cousins, my uncles, because they are all black. I have black I have a black father, I have a black brother, I have black friends. And I I look at that and I look at how that could have been one of them. It's been nights. I stayed up apologizing and and apologizing to George Floyd for not doing more and not physically interacting and not saving his life but it's like it's not what I should have done it's what he should have done members of the jury uh, our next four witnesses are going to be persons who because of their age I am allowing them not to be on the video broadcast obviously you will be able to see them in the courthouse but just so you know what is going out beyond this courtroom their video will not be shown further when they uh, give their name and spell their names for the record that will be off the audio that is being broadcast outside this courtroom just so you know what the general public is seeing you will of course see and hear everything I'm also allowing contrary to what is often in the rules of decorum that we operate under that they can refer to other people who are at the scene by their first names as opposed to Mr. or Ms. So uh, that's with court permission. They're not violating anything by doing so. One with the address of the emergency. Officer 987 killed a uh, citizen in front of a Chicago uh, store. He just pretty much just killed this guy that wasn't resisting arrest. He had his knee on the dude's neck the whole time, Officer 987. The man went, uh, went, stopped breathing. He wasn't resisting arrest or nothing. He was already in handcuffs. They pretty much just killed the dude. I don't even know if he can for sure, but he just was not responsible when the ambulance just came and got him. And the officer that was just out here left, the one that actually just murdered the kid in front of everybody on 36, 38th in uh, Chicago. Okay. Would you like to speak with the, the sergeant? Yeah, like that was bogus what they just did to this man. He was unresponsive. He wasn't resisting arrest or any of it. Okay, let me get you over to the desk. You can request to speak with the sergeant, okay? Stay yeah, and I'm sitting here talking to, uh, with another off duty uh, firefighter that just stayed here watching in front of us as well. Okay. And she told him to check the, the man pulse, but they wouldn't even check the, uh, the pulse. Okay, one second. I have reached the city of Minneapolis to reach someone in our property crimes division. Y'all murderers, bro. Y'all murderers, pal. You, you gonna kill yourself. I already know it. Two more years. You gonna shoot yourself. Murderers, bro. Y'all niggas is murderers, bro. Minneapolis, sir, first thing. Hey, it's dispatch. Yeah, man, so I want to speak to the supervisor. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, he wants to speak with the supervisor relating to 320's cup food. They just killed that man in front of the store. The police. 2833, May 25, 2020. So, um, is it your voice um, asking about a badge number and saying he's not moving, things like that? Yes. Um, And then someone said, he hasn't moved, and then I, and then in over a minute, was that your voice too? Yes. Why was that important for you? That in, in terms of saying over a minute, were were you worried about the length of time that this was going on? Yes, because I knew time was running out, or that it had already. What do you mean by time was running out? That he was going to die. I can keep going. 